His worst mistake would be to overshoot. He cuts the throttle to idle, pops his speed brakes, and does a half roll to bleed off airspeed. To keep from overshooting him, I came up and left it in close to him. So we wound up pretty much canopy to canopy like this. MiG leader counters Parr's move. He's no slouch. The two silver jets begin an incredible aerial ballet, twisting around each other, barely 500 feet from the ground. It's called a rolling scissors. The object is to bring your guns to bear on your opponent by forcing him to slip out front. The only way to do that is by gradually reducing airspeed to the razor's edge of sustained flight. Now I'm looking down through his canopy. And I can see his feet. I can even see the laces and his boots. Parr uses stick and rudder with just enough throttle. The MiG does the same. It's energy management in the extreme. Coordination is key. Someone is bound to slip up. It's the MiG pilot. He adds a little too much throttle in the roll and moves ahead of Parr. I thought, friend, that cost you. And I booted outside rudder, outside aileron, and tried to slide in behind him. The next thing that went through my mind is, I'm going to hit him. Parr's heart is about to leap out of his chest. He slides the saber's nose just inches from the MiG's shark-like tail. It's too close for comfort. The F-86 is thumped hard by the MiG's jet wash, a new hazard in the jet age. Parr controls the buffeting saber, reduces power, and backs off. I pulled the trigger. I hit him. He zigged off to one side, and I latched onto him, climbed into the saddle. But MiG leader is not about to throw in the towel. He rolled underneath, which caught me totally by surprise. I hadn't anticipated that at all. The MiG snap rolls to quickly change direction, attempting to regain the advantage and use his jet wash to keep Parr at bay. Parr stays on him like glue, but he must avoid the MiG's exhaust. The hot blast could flip the saber at any moment. And as low as they are, there's no room to recover. But Ralph Parr is not about to give up now. June 7, 1953. F-86 Sabre pilot Ralph Parr is in hot pursuit of a MiG-15. Literally. The MiG has already forced him into a death-defying role. As I was following him, he started to uh, do it again. And this time, I thought, you're not going to catch me on that. Parr will pitch up and roll over the top. It's a bold move that will put him in firing position and clear of the MiG's jet wash. I went over the top, and I was sitting there waiting on him when he came out of the tucking out under, and he was right in front of me. Then I let him have it. The MiG lights up like a Roman candle. 